Welcome to Artist in the Spotlight. I'm your host, Pat Stone. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Arabella Jones, a super talented young lady, singer-songwriter from Houston, Texas. Now, Arabella Jones has accomplished more by the age of 19 than some artists do in a lifetime. As her star continues to rise, Arabella could not be happier to share her signature sound with the world. Her vocals are edgy and powerful, with outlaw country and southern rock influences, but she still manages to let her femininity shine through, setting her apart from the crowd. Living in Texas has not slowed Arabella from driving right into the Nashville music scene and adopting it as her second home. In 2014, Arabella has caught the attention of many influencers inside and outside of the music business. She worked with the Kyle Busch Foundation, lending her support to bring awareness to NASCAR legend Kyle Busch's wife, Samantha's Perry and Pink Foundation. She was also chosen to perform God Bless America in front of 90,000 racing fans at the 2014 Ford EcoBoost 400 NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship race held at Homestead Miami Speedway. And also in 2014, She participated in CMA Fest for the first time as an artist performing at several events across the city. So, let's go ahead and welcome and introduce you to Arabella Jones. Hello, Arabella, and welcome to our show. Hi! How are you doing? Good, how are you? Wow, Uh, this sounds really good. Oh, thank you. So, so do you. Um, Did I pronounce your name correctly? It's Arabella, but Ara- okay. yeah, close enough. I hear every kind of form of my name. <laughs> well, you know, being from Houston, I was born in Houston, by the way. Oh, wow. And yeah, so there's a lot of Spanish speaking there. And uh, so that's why you, Arabella has got that Spanish accent that I yeah. put in there. <laughs> but it's Arabella. It is. Maybe when I feel like being a little more exotic, I'll tell people it's Arabella. That, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that, I like how that rolls off my tongue. <laughs> uh, yeah, Arabella. It almost sounds like Italian, you know, Arabella. Yeah. <laughs> Bella yeah. in Italian means beautiful, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, listen, I'm very happy that uh, finally we were able to connect. Me too. Because I've been sharing music now for, oh, I don't know, a couple of years maybe. Yeah, I am. I, um... I've seen you come up a lot, and so I'm glad we can finally talk. And I have music that I can, you know, I, if you've been following me for long enough, you know that I started on covers and whatnot. So I'm glad that I have my own music now to kind of share with people. Yeah, you did. You started with the YouTube, and you're doing a lot of covers. And then I was reading that your dad helped you uh, launch your YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how, how did, did you find that, uh, you know, helpful as far as your career is concerned? Yeah, my family um, has been a huge help. You know, every artist talks about their um, support system they have around them. For me, it's been my dad that's been really supportive of me. Um, He's really tech savvy. So when I first started my YouTube channel, you know, he helped me figure out things that I couldn't figure out on my own. Uh, (laughs) He's really awesome. Yeah, that's Gordon, right? Yes. Yeah, I kind of put two and two together when his last name was the same as yours. <laughs> yeah, we don't look alike, but uh, that's my dad. Uh, yeah, well, you know, he's a he's a very nice guy. I communicated with him via emails and stuff. I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give him my best. Uh, in fact, he's uh, kind of helped me also, you know, arrange and put together this interview with you. Yeah, that was really helpful. He does help me set up appointments and stuff like that because um, I'm trying to get better about <laughs> keeping track of things on my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you already finished school, right? Yes. Um, let me see. You finished school, and are you going to college, or are you planning on going to college? As of right now, I decided to take some time off school. Um just to pursue music, you know, I'm so young and there's there's so much time and I feel like right now is the time to really, you know, try to make a breakthrough if I want to really do music full time. Right, as a career. Well, you're doing really wonderful. Thank you. Um, I see that you're pretty active on many different social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Reverb Nation and so on. Yeah, definitely. So what advice would you give somebody that is also young trying to pursue a musical career? 
I would say <laughs> drop out of school like I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, to be clear, I did finish school, so uh, <laughs> jokes. But um, definitely, I recommend working social media, being really engaged with people, because I've noticed – the, the uh, other artists that I see that have been successful on social media really let their great personalities shine through and people, you know, can really connect to them, um, even if it's just online. So be really active and talk to people, really care about them. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there also that are starting. I mean, there's no real age limit when it comes to getting their musical career started. I, I've talked to several artists, singers, songwriters that have started, you know, in their late 30s, 40s, even 50s. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once you get into like the 40s and the 50s, I find that they're not very savvy when it comes to <laughs> social media. <laughs> yeah, that that can be the trend. Um, and also, I feel like it's it's easier to break through to a new audience when you're a little bit younger. But I mean, it definitely depends on your genre. I mean, I know people that are starting at like 12 you know, and it's it's kind of hard to break through when you're that young as well because you don't really know who you are yet. Um, you have to grow a little bit first, so you kind of have to find the happy medium. Right. And now you perform at all kinds of venues, right? Concert halls, clubs, coffee houses, every place? Yeah, I play a lot around Houston, Texas, especially Houston. Of course, I'm based in Houston. But um, I've done stuff nationally in Nashville, um, when I have, you know, an amazing sponsor like Peace Tea, they'll bring me out to play shows around. But I definitely play most of the time in Houston. Do you still get butterflies? <laughs> Let's see. No, I think those have mostly gone away by now. I got butterflies for a long time. Uh, yeah, uh, I can imagine because, you know, you're you're in front of people and many of them will tell you real quick if they don't like you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But um, I found that most artists have their kind of ritual that they do before a show to calm them down and whatnot. What helps me, honestly, is just being out there and talking to people, kind of keeping myself busy and then just getting right up on stage to keep my energy high. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, someday, I've got a sister that lives in Houston, by the way, and so maybe someday I can head on down to Houston and visit her and, and perhaps see one of your live shows. I'd like to do that. That'd be great. Or maybe sometime I'll come to your area, play show there. On Tampa, Florida. Yep. So, hey, listen, um, I want to play one of your songs. I, in fact, I want to play two of your songs. Um, even better than one. <laughs> even better than one. I always say two is better than one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even better would be five, but uh, I'll let you Five? <laughs> I wish I could. But, listen, which uh, what song would you like for me to play first? Um, let's see. I would like maybe... I, uh, I So I have two songs that I'd like to share today. One of them is Runaway Rush, which is my single that's out now. It just dropped like last week, and I'm really excited about it. And then the second song is a bit of a teaser song off of my upcoming EP. It's called Gimme Tonight. Super fun. Maybe we could just start with that one. You want to start with which one? Gimme give give me Tonight? Gimme give Tonight sounds good. All right, let's start with Gimme Tonight then. Tell me a little bit about that song. Well, I wrote that with... Another girl my age, actually, it was a Skype write, so we were on Skype just like this, and we got together, wrote that, and it's about how everyone's kind of had this happen to them where you're really into someone, and they pick someone else, so this whole song's about, you know, just give me give me one night, give me tonight, and I'll show you why I should be the one. Okay, sounds uh, sounds pretty interesting, and then you made it into a, you know, really upbeat yeah. dance Oh, sassy for the sassy good all right well let's play then here's arabella jones with give me tonight <laughs> Bumping that cold folk song A friend of a friend Knows who's throwing down yeah, I should've known you'd be invited You're looking good, I won't deny it Word on the street is you can run
Baby girl, you're holding her hand Give her one drink, you'll be holding her hand She'll stumble around She's going down <laughs> She's on the ground You need a girl, a game with your style We can throw them back, we can give up wild A thousand numbers in your phone So baby, you should take me home Give me tonight Change your mind A young beat, very up and, like you say, sassy. Yeah, you know, of course, my my musical style spans, you know, a little spectrum of influences. Mostly, I've been influenced by rock, blues, but um, pop as well, of course. So this is kind of like the fun, just poppy song I wanted to throw on that EP. Right, right. Now, you said that EP is coming out when? It's coming out August 11th, currently. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I take that back. I don't know if I can be specific on announcing the date yet because it hasn't been officially announced so i'll say you know what it's coming out early august well you make sure that you let us know when and then we'll put the word out for you okay awesome (laughs) so what are you working on right now besides uh putting together the ep well i am recording the last song of the ep right now and then i'm actually gonna be starting um a kickstarter in the next few weeks so yeah i'm really excited gonna raise some help uh try to raise some money to finish the ep do some radio promotion do music videos all that really awesome stuff wow okay yeah i'm excited to share that with people so now this kickstarter have you, it hasn't begun yet right yeah the kickstarter will start on around june 28th oh, okay it will start on june 28th yeah end of june yeah okay and so to people how can people go and contribute and you know to support you um uh, you know, through this Kickstarter? Do they go to your website? Where where would they go? Yeah, I'll be posting a link everywhere, of course. Um, It'll be on my website. I'll tweet it, Facebook it. Um, Lots of people that just kind of hang out on Kickstarter will find projects to support, even if they haven't heard of me. So that's cool, too. But yeah, you can go to this Kickstarter page, and then you can contribute to the project. And then based on the level you contribute to, you will receive different rewards. And like I said, there's lots of cool stuff like T-shirts. If you contribute high enough, there's stuff like a private acoustic concert. It's really cool stuff. How much are you trying to raise? I'm trying to raise about ten dollars to $15,000. Okay, and that will help you with the to complete all the music uh, for your EP as well as music videos and other things? Yes, radio promotion, all that kind of stuff. Um, right. Lots of people don't realize, you know, songs don't just necessarily jump on the radio. You know, you have to promote them, maybe radio tour, go around to radio stations and play for them. All kinds of stuff behind the scenes. Right. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to be staying in touch uh, through Twitter and through Facebook and through other other places. Uh, but also feel free to, you know, email me or, you know, just let me know how things are going. And if 